Hello and welcome back. My family's been craving enchiladas and today I'm gonna to show you a quick and easy way to make them. And we're gonna start by making our enchilada sauce from scratch. You wanna start by removing the stem and the seeds from your chiles guajillos. If your chiles are small, you wanna use 10 and if they're a little bit larger, then you wanna use eight. Since mine are a little bit small today, we're gonna to go with 10. And all you have to do is soak your chiles for 10 minutes until they're nice and soft. Once your chiles are nice and soft, you're gonna place them right into your blender. And you're gonna add three cups of your chili water. Add two garlic cloves. And for spice, you can use chile de arbol or some chiltepines. One teaspoon of salt, and remember to adjust to taste. And now you wanna blend until smooth. And boom, done, let's strain it. Place your burner on a medium heat and drizzle half a tablespoon of a neutral oil. Next, you're gonna start straining your chili right into your pan. And if you use a metal whisk, it's gonna make this process a lot easier. Sprinkle one teaspoon of Mexican oregano and if you don't have it, you can go ahead and skip it. Give that a loving mix and you're gonna to continue to cook for another eight to 10 minutes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide this to the back and we're gonna get started on frying our tortillas. Now you're gonna place your corn tortilla into the hot oil and you're gonna fry for about 10 to 15 seconds. And if for some reason you have some tortillas that fall apart, don't stress it. You can fry it up a little bit longer. That way it doesn't tear too much for you. But if, even if it tears, it's not that big of a deal for this style of enchilada. Our enchilada sauce is ready thickened up you can see that the color has changed now you want to place your burner on a low that way when we dip our tortillas it's hot enough to melt the cheese add some of your sauce to the bottom take your tortilla and dip it into that delicious sauce nice and smothered you want to add some shredded melty white cheese you can use mozzarella or traditionally this is made with chihuahua or menonita cheese if your family needs a little bit of protein, you can add some shredded chicken, onions, and then you want to start stacking your next layer. And you want to continue stacking them up until your little heart desires. Some people only need two. Some of you need three or four and that's okay. These enchiladas are perfect to make, especially for those tortillas that have no hope. And for your last layer, you just wanna add a little bit more sauce. To the top, you're gonna to add some cotija cheese. If you like Mexican crema, you can drizzle a little bit of that over the top as well. Garnish with a little bit of cilantro or you can use some green onions. And to keep this recipe traditional, you have to fry an egg and place it over the top. And that's perfect if you have hearty eaters. Now who's ready for a bite? What's better than a stack of pancakes? A stack of enchiladas. I'm gonna need somebody very special. Oops, somebody wanted that piece that belonged to you. To say, uh... And there you have it, quick and easy enchiladas. If you're looking for these enchiladas at a Mexican restaurant, you would ask for enchiladas montadas. These are from Chihuahua, Mexico, and I hope you love them as much as I do. Mmm. Oh, wow, that was good. You surprise yourself every time. Yeah, I love enchiladas. <laughs> Not only is this recipe quick and easy, it's absolutely delicious. Mmm. When you get a bite of that onion, with all the combination, Good Lord loves me. As always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you and want to thank everybody that hung out with us this weekend. 
It was lovely chatting with you and I hope we can do it again. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Adios.